Hi guys, this video is meant to teach you how to crop your mandala. All right, so what you're going to need for this is your watercolor paper with your final mandala line work on it. Don't worry if it's not finished, we're just working on cutting it today, okay? You can cut it and then finish it later. So you need that watercolor paper, you need your ruler, and the ruler should have some inches on it. You need a sharp pencil and a pair of scissors. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to, to grab these materials for yourself. Let's move on here. Here's the main goal. We want to cut out a nine inch by nine inch square. Okay. If you follow directions on how to draw your mandala and transfer the line work, it should be pushed to the left side like you see here with even borders on the bottom, top, as well as the left. So we only need to make one cut over here, right? This is nine inches on the left side. We want all the other sides to be also nine inches. So here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna measure out nine inches on the bottom, nine inches on the top, okay? Mark those points, draw a line straight down, and then use that line to cut it with our scissors. Let's take a ruler. Align it with the bottom edge of your watercolor paper, just like you see here. Here's what you want to be looking for. In your, uh, on your ruler, there's going to be one line, a long line with zero right under it, okay? That's the zero inch marker. You want the left bottom corner of your paper to be exactly falling on that line just like you see in that image inset over there okay so right over here that's what you want to see that's going to make it so that the nine inch mark on this other side is nice and accurate so that you want to take your pencil and make a small little mark right there i'll show you what that looks like zoomed in so right where it says nine inches that long line that says nine inches you want to make a small mark with your pencil just like you say there now that you have nine inches marked on the bottom we want to do the same on top so get to the top edge of your paper and lay a ruler on top of your paper like this so that the left edge of the paper is aligned with zero inches. Again, I'll zoom that in to let you know exactly what that should look like. Okay, right on the mark where it says zero. That's gonna make it possible for you to make an accurate mark over here at nine inches. All right, so you want to put a pencil mark right on the line that says nine inches. Okay, so it wants to be just a small tick mark. Now that you have a mark up here and a mark down here showing you uh, the position where it's nine inches away, nine inches away from the left side, you can draw a line between those two points. Okay, lay your ruler so that the edge falls right onto both of those marks that you made and draw a light line. Here you want to visually make sure, okay? Am I seeing a square here? Is this line slanted at all? If it is, you probably mi mismeasured somehow one of the common mistakes is to <clears throat> align your ruler by the edge of the ruler as opposed to the, the line where it says zero inches, okay? So that, that might be something, that might be a mistake that you made. So you wanna check for that. If your line looks good, it's straight up and down and you're seeing an even square, you're ready to cut this out. So take your scissors do this slowly and very carefully, okay? Cut right along that line, small segment at a time. Just 
Just really take your time with this. So we only got one shot at cutting it. And there you have it. Here's your mandala cropped into a nine by nine inch square. This piece of paper is very useful, okay? Save this, because this is what you're gonna use to create a, a color wheel using wet on wet watercolor techniques. Make sure you remember which side is the front side, okay? The front side's gonna be a little bit smoother to the touch versus the back side has kind of a gridded pattern. It's a little bit rougher at the tip of your fingers. Right, so keep track of which side is the front side as you cut this. So save this for later. And that's it, guys. Good luck.